Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, evening, whenever you're looking at this video. For anybody that's uh, new to the channel, my name's Rob, and I've done a lot of reviews on a lot of things, on quite a few things. And I appreciate for the eh, roughly two or three percent that actually subscribe to me. Again, I'm new to doing this thing. I have been doing it for about a year, but here and there. My main goal, I guess, of this channel is to try to put as much information out there as I can about certain topics, but also to allow me or work, help me work through talking in general to people. Uh, I think that will help benefit in terms of my business, uh, of detailing vehicles and basically other things also to review things so this is my second video for the review it's been about 10 months almost 11 months I guess for this zero turn so it's a Husqvarna Z254 F it's it has about a hundred and eight hours on it right now so I've had it for a while I haven't done any maintenance to it yet I wanted to see what it was capable of actually doing which I'll probably have another video of that as well uh, of showing me doing the maintenance just so people know if you look down there I don't know how good you can see it right here that's the oil filter and of course you got the oil uh, drain there or not drain but the uh, oil dipstick so it looks like everything works great on this there are some pros and cons to certain things that I'll try to touch up on here so it seems like which you have the plate right here you take that off you can get grass and everything out of it the only thing I dislike is underneath here it seems like it gets quite a bit of grass I have to blow out with the pressure washer not a big deal but it is something there uh, found out going around some of my posts for my fence I've hit this a couple times trying to go around the post and evidently it's not as uh, durable as I thought it would be but still works good um, found out that on the deck if you mow the grass when it's a little damp which my grass I don't know if you can tell there's a little bit of dew still on the ground I cut mine a little little damp only because I don't like the grass blowing in my face as I'm cutting all day um, it tends to get clogged in the deck so you do have to raise it up kind of get it out after I don't know maybe three or four times uh, it's probably good to try to get it raised up and try to get all that uh, grass that's stuck in there out it'll help you mow the grass a lot better because I found out as it clogs up the blades don't necessarily go straight and it was starting to chop my grass a little bit However, uh, still cuts, after you clean it, it cut great. It went back to the way it's supposed to be. So that was, I guess, a user error. So um, let's see, the light that I installed, which some of y'all have seen the video of that as well. The light works great. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the, the armrest and the lights up higher so I can get more lights. It's not like we cut grass at night too often but it's nice to have that as an option so if like a lot of times I'll get home from work it's about three four o'clock try to cut the grass with having the land that I have it takes six to eight hours sometimes to cut this grass so it will get into the dark times and I get to a certain point or whatever that I'll turn the light on um let's see what else what else we got uh, all right. Also, oh, if you see this right here, if my wife's listening, thanks a lot. She decided that, or she found out that trailers aren't friends with the lawnmower when you get close. <laughs> so unfortunately we got a little bit of damage on that, but it still goes. Uh, I'll, I want to address these back tires. So if you're cutting grass that's damp and your yard isn't flat as you can tell my yard is not flat it slopes um and then if you go 
back over this hill thing. It's kind of sort of steep, not real steep, but it's steep enough. These tires will start slipping. I'm not starting to be not a big fan of these particular tires, so I'm probably going to upgrade to better tires. But if you have a flat flat surface for the most most part and not too steep, um, the tires work great. Make sure you check your uh, air pressure on those. I found out when they get kind of low, your uh, gas suffers quite a bit. Um, but those are really the only negatives I would say about it. So the tires were a little, I don't know why they don't grip. I mean, they look like they would, but unfortunately when you start cutting or whatever, grass gets in the treads and it just, it doesn't catch traction like you'd want it to. And, uh, the lights I want to get, I believe they go in this little section right here. And if I get those, I will make a video of those because it seems like I've been getting a lot of reviews for these or views for the uh, this zero turn and what I'm doing to it. And I appreciate it a lot. And I appreciate, I'm almost at 100 subscribers, so I really appreciate y'all on that as well. It's only maybe 1 or 2% of the people that watch my videos. But hey, I'll take it. It's cool. Uh, for some of the comments out there, sorry I'm boring. Um, maybe, you know, I'll start drinking or whatever, so I can be a little bit more funnier, but it's, this isn't, you know, made to be really funny or anything like that. So I apologize if that's what you're watching my videos for. Um, uh, and hopefully the people that have purchased this mower actually have enjoyed it as much as me. So I don't know. If, well, well, I'll just show you. So this is my neighbor's yard that's for sale at this particular moment. And it is, grass is huge right now. This is about the, eh, close to the size of grass when I originally got this mower and started cutting. Now, when I used it to cut my grass, I put it, when I had this high of grass, I put it on level six, which is the highest the deck will go. And I went through it. It cuts a good portion of it. But I I did one cut through that. And then I'd come back and lower it to the setting that I wanted. Which is normally three or four. It will cut that. Uh, downside is. With these particular tires. Like I said before. It will take a little bit of going back and forth sometimes. Because it will just start spinning your tires. In that high grass. And there's usually moisture further down in the grass. So hopefully I answer some of y'all's questions that y'all might be interested in of knowing about this. I know some asked if I was going to do another review on this mower again, but I wanted to make sure I got enough hours on it to really give y'all a better review on it at this point. Because my first review is basically when I first got it and cut it, cut a few times and it it worked great and it still works great. So, very, still very happy about this. It's been, like I said, 10, almost 11 months. I haven't done any maintenance on it yet, which that'll probably be uh, soon, hopefully. Um, with everything that's going on in the States, it's, it can be uh, a pain in the butt trying to get things done at this particular moment. I apologize for not getting more videos out. I've been trying to work on there. As you can see, I took the ball off right there because I'm not using my bush hog as of right now, my pool behind. And I've been, I bought a little dump cart for my wife cause she's been doing some gardens and stuff and raised beds around the yard. So we've been using the tractor to pull that. And I also had to change tires on that cause tires that were on there were kind of crappy. I did buy that used though. So that's why I really didn't do a, a review on that. But so far everything that I've pulled with this which has been the bush hog and that dump trailer so far i mean this tractor has has pulled it i haven't had a problem matter of fact i even had it pull my 16 foot flatbed uh, car trailer one time because i couldn't couldn't get it in my garage and i needed something a little bit smaller to be able to turn it around and pivot it so i ended up using 
the ball that was on this tractor and moved that. So yes, this tractor will end up pulling a car trailer. However, I did not have a car on it, so please don't try that. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoy this video. Um, if so, please uh, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, and I appreciate the new subscribers. I'm almost at 100, which I honestly didn't think that I'd even get that much because I'm just on here talking about my uh, my tractor at this point. I mean, some other things too. But uh, if you want to look at any other videos, I do have some videos about um, working on cars in uh, my garage, which my garage is right here. As of right now, this is the back side of my garage. Um, it It is basically complete outside inside i'm still working on it i got my lights up and i still need to do the receptacles on the inside but that's uh, another video for another day but i hope y'all have an awesome weekend and we will see y'all in the next one thank you very much